Now's the perfect time to head into a new season to give your wardrobe a little bit of a refresh. Make sure you've got all the pieces you need to create lots of different looks. Now, what I have here are what I call really solid foundation pieces. They're your building blocks where you can create lots of different looks, you can create lots of different styles, and you'll be ready for whatever the weather throws at you. So I'm gonna talk you through every single piece. It's something I talk about in the stores all the time. And let's have a look at what you might already have in your wardrobe, what you might have a little gap for, where you might need to refresh or replace, but let's just see what I really think should be in everybody's wardrobe as a good starting point and core. So the first thing you'll notice is the colour palette and I've purposely kept it black, white, beige, pop of pattern, pop of colour here with the scarves because these, these pieces are our core, our absolute foundation and when I'm in the store we talk about this all the time. How do I begin and make sure that my wardrobe has all those key pieces? Well, these are those, or them, or it. <laughs> this is what we need to then add colour, pattern, texture on top of this. It's a real layering process. So let me show you exactly what's on here, piece by piece. Now we've got uh, two, four, six, eight, ten pieces, plus a few that I'm wearing, which are kind of part of this core. But what I have on here, is a dress and I've got a black dress because you can wear a black dress any, any, anywhere. Beach, flip flops, out for dinner, uh, chuck a cardigan over and you've got something really casual. Boots, trainers, works all the time. So I think a black, a black dress is an absolute must. Then we've got an oversized shirt. This can be slung over, layered, cozied up, worn again down to the beach if it's hot, if it's cool, if it's cool. Then you can layer it, um, it's fresh white. That's a lovely pop of colour in the scarf. A jacket. Every wardrobe needs at least one good jacket. Now this is our Raven jacket and it is, it's been one of our most popular shapes. This is it in the cream, this is it in the black uh, coupe though. It's a boxy style, will suit everybody. You can sling it over the dress, the shirt, I'll show you how to use it. But that is a really good little piece in your wardrobe. T-shirt, a lovely t-shirt. This is just a V-neck. It's a slightly loose style, so I can do lots with it. Tuck it in, wear it more fitted looking, you know, by tucking it in, or I can wear it out loose, long sleeves, I can roll it up, so I can do a lot with a long sleeve t-shirt. Uh, two pairs of trousers, so I've got my black satin René, which I have worn, I can't say how many times. Then I've got the trouser, the suit trouser here, I've got the jacket on. Um, I've added cream in, it could be two pairs of black trousers, but I wanted to add something in which gave you a little bit of a mix of colour and also options heading into spring, lighten your wardrobe up. Um, wear, sleeveless little satin top, great all-rounder, good little pack horse. And this is nice because it's got a little bit of detail and interest, but it could be a really simple sleeveless little top. A little vest, um, leopard print, love leopard print, perfect in every wardrobe. Just gives a sort of little punchy, edgy um, kick to any outfit and suits everybody. Now the t-shirt I have here is our Patty and Patty is one of those t-shirts that has zero hanger appeal. I cannot tell you how this little number has worked on everybody. Fitted sleeve, so it doesn't wear you, it's not going to wear your tent, but it just kicks out, so you've got a nice little swing. Perfect for, I don't know, around the house on a Sunday, cosy or out for dinner. Then I've got a chuck over cardi. I've added a little bit of print or pattern here. It's actually pattern, it's not print, it's woven in. But I like a long cardigan, so it's a good alternative to a light jacket. Uh, it's a cosy, I can sling it over everything. Finally, a coat. Now this is a clever little coat, this is Petra and what I love about this and why I've chosen, chosen it is because it's a soft jersey so it's, it's nicely casual but it's got a structured shape so I can wear this at home at the weekend as sort of a dressing gown or I can sling it over all of this even over the jackets. Nice scarf on all of these 
and I've got a cool coat going into spring. Um, so that is my little core there. Now, let me show you how to create some really gorgeous looks out of this little lot. So the reason I've chosen this dress, the Amazon one, is because it ticks lots of boxes. So let's talk about hot and cold. This dress is great when it's warm, so as I go to spring, summer, it's a lightweight. It's also a long length, so it's nice and cool. If it gets chilly, then I can layer it up, either a t-shirt underneath or something over the top. The sleeve length is brilliant because it's got that lovely sort of ruching, which means I can wear it full length or as it gets warmer, I can make it a shorter length here. The other thing about this dress is it's perfect to wear like I am now with just a trainer, but I could wear it with my Birkenstocks, I could wear it with a pair of chunky black boots, and I can wear it with heels and really elevate it into an evening look. So it's ticking loads and loads of boxes. By adding a jacket to this dress, I made it look a little bit preppy. I've also popped on cream bag. Now I've chosen a cream bag for my little foundation collection because I wanted to add a, a pop of lightness. Of course it can be a black, metallic, whatever you want, but I just wanted to show you what a cream bag can do and not necessarily a first thought as a, a core piece. So there we go, easy little jacket over my dress. So now I've added the cardi and this is what a, a really good cardigan can do. I like the stripe, it's added a bit of interest, but actually it's a no-brainer. I can chuck it over my dress. I'm keeping my trainers on actually for all of the outfits here, just because they're simple. But this is just a no-brainer. I feel comfortable, still feel a bit edgy, long line cardigan, really useful. I love this look. I've just chucked over Patty which is our simple top, added a scarf, shades as we head into spring, and I've got a skirt now. So this dress has become a skirt, it's become something I can wear very casually like this, or dress up to go out. But I, I really like this look, it's, it's very comfortable. Easy layering. Dress, long sleeve t-shirt, to finish it off with Petra trench. A black pair of easy trousers are a must and will go with everything in my little core capsule here. But let's focus on the white shirt. Now, why I've chosen this shape is because it will work on everybody. The reason it works, this oversized style, is because it's got a shorter sleeve, so it doesn't swamp you. You can wear it to a size eight, you can wear it to a size 18 plus. It doesn't matter. Works on everybody, which I love. Now, a floaty white shirt like this is obviously going to work for how I'm wearing it, but it's also very useful if I go down to the beach. It's cool, it's light, it's airy, and it's classic. Now this is a good example of how a sleeveless top can become a layering piece, and that's what I've done here. I've just bunged it over my long sleeve white t-shirt. I can roll the sleeve up if I wanted to, or keep it long but it's a useful piece. I can also obviously wear it by itself and layer a jacket on top, but I really like this. I think this is quite cool. This is how useful this cardigan can be because it's such a lovely sling weaver. Um, I've got the white tee here with my black trousers, but I wanted to show you actually how this looks very relaxed and lovely, but by tucking in the t-shirt in the front of my trousers, there, like that, yeah, there. Now, what that's done is made it look a little bit elevated. It also gives the illusion that my leg is much, much longer than it actually is because you're seeing the cuff of my trousers. So that's a really good way to take it from casual to a little bit more dressy. A black jacket can be a good alternative to a cardigan, and I wear jackets all the time. This has given me a little bit of a tuxedo vibe, which I love because it's classic, and I use that word a lot, but it's also really comfortable, and I don't actually feel that dressy. But this is a really nice little 
easing jacket to sling over anything here. This is perfect for a Sunday lounging around the house look. But if I want to take this combo out for the evening, all I have to do is pop on some jewellery, tuck in the front like that, add a little sparkly bag, I don't know, little slicker lipstick, and I'm ready to go out for the evening. So this is a really useful little combo. I love it. A cool, minimal style that actually works on everybody. Now, I've kept it very simple, but I've added just a little pop of interest with the leopard print scarf, which ties all the colours together. I also have kept the shirt out here just to add an extra layer, which I think is a little bit of interest, but very easy and very comfortable. Gorgeous. This is a mix of textures. So I've got the knitwear here and the cardigan, a satin little top and the proper trousers. And it works because the colours are all really sitting happily together. So I've pulled the black here with the stripe, the cream and the oatmeal just blend really nicely. And of course, pop of white on my feet freshens the whole look up. I'm feeling a little bit sporty in this. And I think it's because I've rolled the trousers up and I've got a soft t-shirt, the long sleeve t-shirt underneath my jacket. I haven't put jewellery on, so I'm keeping it very tray cash, but I think by wearing these trousers, which have a lovely front pleat here, a little bit preppy, it's made the whole look feel, yeah, a little bit sport casual. To add a pop of colour into your wardrobe, particularly as we head into a new season, look towards accessories which is what I've done here. This scarf is really lightening up the whole outfit and I'm not investing in something that I'm going to wear maybe for a, a short time of the year. All of these pieces are very non-seasonal. This is lifting it into spring. So have a look through your wardrobe, see what pieces you have, which could be really useful um, to create lots of different looks like I have here keep it minimum, but don't go, I think, too crazy with this little core. Keep it simple, keep it easy, and keep it really wearable. 